I sang that song for more than 60 years, a song of praise to Joseph Smith, the founder of the church I served as a bishop. I was a faithful Latter-day Saint. Jesus said, you shall know the truth and the truth will make you free. I realized that I was following the gospel of Joseph Smith and not the gospel of Jesus Christ. Many others have made a similar journey into an authentic relationship with Jesus. And that's what this show is all about, people who want to share their story. So if you're a Latter-day Saint seeking a genuine encounter with the Savior, we have a joyful message that we want to share with you. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Ex-Mormon Files. I'm your host, Bishop Earl, and I appreciate you joining us for uh, another visit. Last week we got to meet Alicia Banks last time, and this time we get to introduce her husband, Brent Banks. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. What would you think of Alicia? I think she did very She's well. She's a sweetheart, isn't she? She is. She's gone through so much. She has. And has such and a great attitude. She's taken me with her. Isn't that to go something? through it. So, we're yeah, it's, been a, it's been a test. Yeah. Well, tell us about you. Where were you born? Well, I was born here in Salt Lake. Oh, yeah? You went to school here? Went to everything. school here. Uh, yeah. Lived here my whole life. Yeah. You were telling me earlier that you got baptized in the tabernacle. I did. In the basement I there. Re I remember the tabernacle. Yeah, that's I where I was baptized, and I think my wife was too. I they used to do that a lot. Didn't yeah, they? it was a beautiful building. It's Beautiful building. Because there weren't really b many fonts in the in the churches. No, there really wasn't back, back in, in our days. Early days. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or mid days, whatever it yeah. was. So we'd all that's where we everybody did their baptisms was yeah. down there. Do you yeah. remember much about that? My experience? father baptized me. Did and he? It was pretty so neat. They, were they married in the temple? Yes. Yeah. The, they, they were, were married in the temple and, lifetime. Yeah. Now they both passed. They both passed, yeah. Okay. And just to to add to that, you have some family that's uh, been yeah. General I, Authority. I have family and, that's in the General Authority, okay. and they still so, are to this day. And but your folks have passed. So, did you ever get a? Uh, now, okay. So, you were active and you were baptized at age eight, and did yeah. you get to the Aaronic priesthood? And, I did. I went all the way up to uh, a priest. They wanted me to make an elder, and I just didn't feel comfortable. I had a little falling out. Uh, I look at it now. With leaders? Or with with, yeah, with our bishop. Now I look at it as a communication problems or fallout. But yeah. Uh -huh. What did so, your parents think of that? Well, they weren't too happy, I suppose. Well, <laughs> no. Uh, when I was younger, my father got sick when I was in my early, getting in my teens, I guess. Oh, yeah? And we couldn't figure out what was wrong. All the doctors around the world came, you know, see what was wrong with him. And they couldn't figure out where his pain was coming from. Did they ever figure it out? No, they never really did. Uh, did he pass away from this? Or? Uh, he did. He was really ill, and he had to quit working. And, and back in those days, well, when I was young, we, he actually was a photographer for the church. Oh, he LDS was? church. Wow. He did all the photography work. Uh, I remember when I was a kid doing all the sh slides and yeah. Temple Square and all that and we thought it was really kid all did, cool all my brothers my brother and sisters and he's going through thousands of the, the old uh, slides yeah back yeah in the I remember days. the old little slides yeah did he ever get anything published in the church like the ensign or the improvement uh, I, I, era I, I, I don't know but I I know but we did uh, his uh, his studio was straight down the street from the main entrance of the temple back then. Uh, oh, yeah. Now it's not there, obviously, because right. of uh, the mall, but it was on Richard Street. Richard Street, yeah. I remember uh, Interesting. Uh, David O. McKay in, the, in the, his showroom glass. and Really? Yeah. You got to meet them or see them? And well, yeah, I'm, and all the time, well, when we went to uh, General Conference and that, Back then, that was nothing to get into general. No, conference. yeah, you didn't you get a get ticket it. or anything. No, you just got no. in. Yeah. yeah, I remember that, going to all those. Back in the tabernacle and stuff. Yeah. And after he got ill, uh, he couldn't work. Oh. So my mother had to go back to work, yeah. go to work, because she was a stay home mom, you know, raising yeah. like mean, five oh. sisters and a twin brother. And so. So the, you were a twin, and then yeah. how many sisters? Five, five? sisters, and I was a baby. That's a big family, seven of you, huh? Yeah. yeah. And, 
Oh, yeah. you were the baby? Yeah. That's what Alicia said she was, too. Yeah. <laughs> so I asked her if she was spoiled. And when we were you up, spoiled? No, no. No. <laughs> uh, I was probably the troublemaker, both of us, my brother and I. Yeah. But I remember growing up in this little court that uh, we lived next to all our cousins, my grandma and aunts and uncles, and I yeah. thought it was really cool. So yeah. we had a really... And all active members of the yeah, church. Yeah, and it was, uh, you know, it was, yeah. it was pretty... I was pretty thankful to grow up, you know, with all my cousins and family around until we moved we moved out of that particular area and moved up into a huge house. Uh, mm -hmm. It wasn't big enough. Because <laughs> uh, I remember having to take a bath in a little, I guess, sink downstairs in the basement, but it wasn't little, it was big. Yeah. And we were small enough that we could just jump in it and the same because thing. we only had one bath and you know five sisters and you know oh boy it's like <laughs> so the brothers got stuck in the sink <laughs> yeah so we'd sneak down in the basement in this big tub like yeah and take a bath That's but fun. yeah uh, after he got ill my mom went mom went to work and yeah. we started working at my first job I think 15 or yeah. thereabouts hmm. and, uh, so growing up I mean, you became a, in the Iranian priesthood. You yeah. you said up to through priest, and you were a scout. I know your yeah. life scout. Yeah, about scouting. Yeah, did you take seminary at all? You know, I never did. I never had an in interest in in high, in that. I just kind of fell away from it by then. So, were your how were your parents with your? Did you go to church every Sunday, or uh, did pretty, you try to much every avoid Sunday. that if you I, could? I remember as the older I got, I would sneak out and come home, or. Yeah. You know, cause back Did then, mom and dad say much about that? Or? No, mm -hmm. well, sometimes they would, yeah. yeah. But I remember we'd sneak home. Back then it was like, you know, you'd go in the morning, afternoon, oh, and that's night, right. you know, yeah. so it wasn't all in three times. Three times, yeah. yeah. And we lived close to church, so we could just sneak home, you know. <laughs> Slip home. So, but you didn't end up going on a mission? No, I didn't yeah. go on a mission. I fell away because I had a, a sour mouth. You know, uh, sour after, mouth. Well, I had a, a sour taste for the church oh, the after <laughs> after uh, my mom had to start working, and I I started I actually had a job, and I was yeah. working, and we were into CBs back then. Yeah. It was a big thing, and I guess the bishop didn't like uh, the way that uh, I I was able. We were able, my brother and I, to have a CB and. Back then, I guess it was a luxury, and my mother was struggling because trying to finish raising us kids. And, yeah. Interesting. Uh, asked for help from the church, and they were very grateful, you know, to helping us until uh, they decided that they wanted us, my brother and I, all of us, to give our money to our parents to help them with, you know. Oh. Finances and from your jobs, yeah. And yeah. I think my parents didn't think that was right because uh, hmm. they wanted us to teach us how to uh, be young men and adults, and you sure. know, because it was only boys and want you know, yeah. you had to learn how to be. Now, were your sisters? Men, you know? Were they older at this yes, point? Yes, they were older, and they were they were helping out, but yeah. it wasn't enough, and also. What, I mean, I usually ask a little bit about, did, did you have a, what you sense about Jesus at this time you in know, your life? You know, back then, I don't think I really learned much about Jesus, other than a lot of pictures of him, yeah. you know. Book of Mormon? Did you ever Book read Book of Mormon, Mormon, I never really got into it. Yeah. It was a little difficult for me. I wasn't a very good reader. Yeah. So I didn't have a lot of interest. You know, Do you I've, feel like you ever had a testimony of the church? Well, I had a testimony, but... Whether or not I really knew what it was about, yeah. I don't think I really didn't. Looking back now, back yeah. then I probably thought I did. Yeah. Did you go to youth camps and stuff? Uh, remember I remember you? always going to uh, camping and, and you know and the scouts, scouts, yeah. and also uh, just church activities. Yeah. You know, with the church and right. and that that was really neat. You know. And, and fun, yeah. You know, it was, okay. you know, we didn't have a whole lot of friends other than 
all of us in the church, you know, played basketball yeah. and, and anything. But you really wouldn't, you just weren't that no. active, I no, guess. And I, then after you got out of high school, you just weren't active. No, either. not at all. Yeah. It, you know, and... Is that, do you, th do you run into people that have had these same experiences? You know, I have. I, do th I mean, I think there's a certain... We always had this list of priests that I was supposed to visit, or inactive elders, right, you know, or prospective elders, we called them. And there were just a lot of them, and I know that they probably went through what you went through. You know, people my age, yes. Uh, these days, it's probably a lot different uh, from what I've gathered. I mean, yeah, different atmosphere, I guess. Yeah. Uh, in in my days, I mean, it was church was a little different, uh, meaning. I guess it was just, just different. <laughs> di different. It wasn't as uh, what we have these days, you know, with all the technology and. Well, and I, the, but I mean, I mean the meetings, the, the sacrament meetings, meetings are probably, are the, probably same. the same in Sunday yeah, school imagine. and that kind of stuff. Yeah. But I just, I just wonder if you had. I just wonder how little we really, of course, certainly not much about Jesus. Or I mean, you, Jesus would be mentioned, you know, here and there. Yeah. In, like I said, pictures of Jesus. The sacrament, and the prayer. Sacrament, yeah. The and, the prayers. But. You know, so I knew about that, but I really, I think it was more about the prophet. Uh, so when a person then isn't terribly active, what is your feeling? Are, are you thinking eventually I'll come back? I know the church yeah. is. I know the church is true, so yes, eventually, absolutely. even somewhere I'll come back. When I first got my first marriage, uh, I thought you know I'll eventually come back. I wanted to teach my kid, the kids, uh, to pray. You know, say and their the church prayers. Is what you knew, so. Well, yeah, I never really went to church but always had the good moral standards they do have really good standards yeah uh, you know good people and i think oh they're loving people yeah uh and they probably they still are it's just uh <laughs> now that i know christ and that what what it's truly about it, it's not about any particular religion yeah but it's about Jesus. Yeah. So tell us about this transition. How long were you in this mode of kind of? You know, off and on. Uh, you know, even to the day that I met Alicia, I kept wondering there's something missing in my life, and I couldn't quite find it. And when when was this? Uh, I met Alicia probably oh, close to 15 years, 13 years ago. Okay. So back in the early 2000s yeah. or something. Yeah. And, and I met Alicia, and I remember. I, How'd you meet her? You know, it, it's crazy because uh, I wanted to find a companion. Uh, I was being tired of being alone, raising my son. I had had my son then, and I okay. had gotten divorced, and yeah. so I knew I was missing something. I, I met Alicia on a phone date in mine. <laughs> uh, as crazy it is, and uh, we met on my birthday, and then. She brought a guy with her, and uh, he just always kept kind of belittling her on anything she said. But she was so upfront, truthful, and was proud about it, and, and kept her head up high. And it's like, wow, there's something about this this, girl, this gal, you know? Yeah, that I like. Huh? Yeah, I mean, she's beautiful, and she's just like sticking to her guns, and she just was adamant to being true to herself and and I guess to the Lord. Yeah. Now, was she a Christian at this point? She was a Christian, and she talked about Jesus. What and, did you and think of that? Thing. You know, I didn't know what to think until when I met her, and then I asked her, well, I was thinking about going back to church, and, and I want to know about Jesus. Uh, can I have both? She goes, no. It's you don't want to have both. It's one or the other. You, it's it's all about Jesus. It's not about religion. She told you, she told you that. Yeah. What did you think of that? And I thought, wow. Had you ever How thought of that before? I, what? No, I didn't think. I thought. I mean, I can't. I can't have two. Have two. Two things on my plate even <laughs> at once. It, it, it's can't not be like, religion and Jesus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, 
it, it's about having a relationship. And then uh, the second time I met her, second or third time I met her, she came walking up to the house and she came up and before she even got to the door a little ways away, it's like I felt this like wind or, or, or something just like floor me. And I know what it is now. It was the Holy Spirit and it was just like so overwhelming. It's like, wow, what was that feeling? I know she's beautiful and that, but there's something about this woman that I just haven't got figured out yet. And then we started talking more, a little bit more and more as we met yeah. about Jesus. And she says, you didn't fall in love with me. You fell in love with Jesus <laughs> because he lives in me <laughs> and I live for Jesus. Isn't that beautiful? And it's like, really? And she goes, yeah. yeah. I go, I want to know about this Jesus. And so she started teaching me about Jesus and, wow. you know, as, as asking questions and, hmm. and that. And, and then, then at that point I thought, okay, well, there's something stronger, you know, with the Holy Spirit that I feel now than when than you I was supposed to in, in church back in when I was little. Yeah. In, in my younger days about church, you know, I never really had a feeling like that. I mean, sure, you get up and bear your testimony about the uh, prophet and this and that. And you, you, you Joseph the, Smith yeah, in the Book of Mormon. You, you get the, the tingling, the feeling yeah. like, you know, I think more of it was being scared getting up there in front <laughs> of your congregation and right. speaking, you know. Yeah. And but this other feeling of Jesus This other was feeling real. was just like unimaginably, I couldn't explain it. Wow. There was no, no Wait, I mean, I was at awe. It's like I didn't know what to say, <laughs> and I thought, "Wow, that it's." And so I, I kept asking questions and questions, and she taught me. And she did you go look at the Bible and stuff? You know, back then I didn't. You know, I I, I didn't want anything to do with religion or anything because I didn't know what I believed. After I fell away, and didn't go, even though I still had beliefs and wanted to believe. Yeah and knew they were good people. I just didn't like the idea of having to constantly go to church for long days and hours and tithing and this. How and things that. have changed, huh? And yeah, and it's <laughs> like, even though I, you know, wanted to raise my kids that way. Yeah. Uh, so what happens next? You next keep dating her, I guess. I, yeah, I, but I gave her space and uh, she kept sharing Jesus. She kept I sharing guess. it and sharing it, and uh, finally she got me to go to church with church, and I said, "Okay, what church?" And so she looked around and she took me to this church, Christian church. What'd you think of that? I was like shocked. It's like, wow. You mean you can wear normal clothes? And you don't have to get <laughs> suit and tie. Don't you and, love that? And then there was this music, and it's like, wow. And then all these people singing and praising the Lord. It's like, wow. This is like pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, I love Never music. Never done that before. No, in, you, in the church, in the Mormon church, had we? No, I mean no. it was all about you know just singing hymns, praising and that. God, I and mean, Jesus. But, you know, it was still you know that's all I knew. Yeah, yeah. So you went to church. Yeah, you so started I went going. To it, started going to church with her, and yeah. then uh, I let her. Uh, do her thing, and I didn't mind. We visit each other, and and I'd ride my bicycle and <laughs> take the bus or whatever, all the way to where she was living, and quite yeah. a ways. And yeah. we'd chat, and she'd share it with me. And I started picking up the Bible, and she was teaching me. And next thing you know, I'm driving one night. You know, after all these messages she's been sharing with me. I look up in the sky and I'd see the star and, and I thought, man, Jesus must be following me. You know, I don't know why, but I was like always watched over uh, in my travels. Protected, you To mean? protect yeah. me and it was always at night and we were always talking and we'd, we'd talk about Jesus and, and that. And uh, <laughs> one day she said, oh, I want to be with you. And I go, well, I want to be with you. But she had no interest in me unless I loved Jesus. Because <laughs> Jesus to her was everything. Yeah, you can tell she has a great spirit. I mean, when people looked at her 
she was beautiful, but it, it wasn't the beauty on the outside. It was the beauty on the inside that she had for the Jesus. Yeah. And it just was she, bigger than anything that I could even fathom. And she, and she won you over. <laughs> oh, she did. And, you know, she asked me if I, if I could, if we could be together forever. And I go, sure. <laughs> so we <Why> started, <laughs> so we started, you know, doing more Bible studying. And yeah. Going to church and taking and the, eventually you get married. Eventually we get married. And you've been married now in what, 10 years? 10 years. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. And she's such a sweetheart. And have you, have you learned more now about the Mormon church? And You know, I have. When uh, Before we got married, she, she ran across this show. And she wanted to share it with me to kind of open my insight about uh, some of the faults of the LDS church that they were lacking uh, about Jesus mm -hmm. and about uh, how they worship and their, you know, their beliefs in the yeah. man instead of Jesus. Yeah. And so I didn't want, I still didn't, wasn't interested. And then I started watching and I go, wow, these are some tough questions. And these questions are, and answers are like, I was at odds. Like, wow, you know, I've noticed that and I, I've witnessed that in the LDS church mm -hmm. and being being a Mormon and, and that and I go, wow, that's so true. And what you've told me is so true too about Jesus. It's like, wow, <laughs> this is incredible. And um, once we got married and, and married and all that, <clears throat> things just got even better, you know. I mean, she was up just dancing and singing and praising the Lord and and that yeah. and just her big heart and the love and wanting to go and and help the homeless and, and and that and they'd come up to her and I want what you got. Wow, and a great a great ambassador. Yeah, she was, yeah. And, and that that was what she wanted to do. She wanted to share the gospel of Jesus Christ mm. because he was he's. He's Everything. the way. He yeah. the way and the truth and life. So, do you feel like you had a born again experience? Oh, absolutely. Uh, after we got married, well, prior to that, I got baptized, born again. Did you? Good for and, you. And uh, I shared my testimony, which I didn't want to, but the Holy Spirit came across me, and, <laughs> and and then yeah, I think my true born again experience was when uh, a couple years after the marriage, and she. Uh, I took her to the hospital because she was having problems breathing and mm. turned out she had pneumonia and next thing you know she's oh, on life she support and, had the stroke. And, and, this, and then after that coming off she had a stroke and you know I didn't leave her sight and uh, while I was in there uh, the Holy Spirit had come up to me and, and he said to me okay son it's time to, for you to take the, take the lead because your daughter's sick and I'm watching over her and I want you to share the gospel and, and share the love mm. that she, because I was just kind of experiencing it with her and then going with her and then next you know it. Letting her kind of lead along. Lead me yeah. because she was, had so much passion so and much love yeah. that next thing I know and I'm praying for people and they're asking me and I put all my faith into Jesus, getting her better, and then I find out she has a stroke and she'll never be the same, and she probably won't talk or speak again. And all I did is ask the Lord, I said, Lord, just, I'll do whatever, just give her the ability to speak and share your gospel. And he gave us more. Mm -hmm. And it's still been a long journey in trials, yeah. but I, I've managed my faith came so strong when the Lord said, okay, time for you to step up. <laughs> She's not here, and you need to share the gospel. And, mm -hmm. and uh, that was, was just that like... joyful for you? Oh, it really, really was. I mean, I was petrified. I didn't know what to do. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> and, and, and he, he but just you trusted said, God. Yeah, I trusted him, and he said, I'll let the Spirit speak through you and yeah. trust in me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and so I started walking that, and uh, 
Now, I didn't ask her. We didn't cover it really. That, uh, was your family active then? Your brother, sisters, uh, and all my, that? Yes. My, I, I'd lost a sister earlier. Uh, actually, the day I proposed to Alicia officially, and it was on September 11th. Oh, dear. Yes. Not 2001. No. No. <laughs> no, thank goodness. And uh, I get a call. My sister was really ill, and she was really uh, heavy into the church, married in the temple and that. Yeah. And she, uh, Gordon B. Hinckley actually married her, married her in the temple. But, uh, so Lisa and I decided to go down and see her. And before we got down to where she was living down in southern Utah, she'd passed. Uh -huh. And I wanted to go down there again. But uh, well, I was just wondering if you'd been able to share with your family and what they thought of. Yeah, I, I have. Did they notice a change in you yeah, as a person? Oh, yeah, they've noticed me change dramatically. And. Uh, I was being more responsible, more loving, more caring, humble. Yeah. Uh, Call that being a new creature, don't we? Yeah, because I was. Knew with a I new still heart. had a lot of anger in me. Yeah. Over what? Over uh, the LDS Church, I think, from uh, saying that you know you yeah. need to give your money to your parents, and my parents wanted me to be learn how to be independent. Independent, yeah. and my. Mom said no, and my dad, we want to teach him, and so they said, okay, we'll just do it without you. Isn't that funny? And that didn't give up, they didn't give up, but you know, yeah. they taught me and my brother lessons, yeah. always to learn. Well, Brian, we're just about out of time. Wow. Yeah, it goes fast, huh? Is there anything you'd like to say to your family, your friends? You know, I love them, and uh, I love my friends, they know I love Jesus. Uh, you know, uh, go ahead. I'm they, so sorry. they, they have a different philosophy than I do, I and mean, they love Jesus. It's just they, uh, they believe in the LDS religion, and I just yeah. pray that that one day that they will really know the truth. That uh, it, it's not about religion; it's about having a personal relationship with Jesus, because yeah. He will show you the way. He will strengthen you and and give you the strength. That, that you never thought you could ever have. And that's something that you can't really get in religion or, or no. any any type of religion yeah. or anything of that nature because uh, it's not about us creatures on it's earth. It's not about it's what about, we're doing, it's about it's what about Jesus what did. the Lord did for us yeah. on the cross and how Brent, he, he sanctified everything. Thanks today. so much, I appreciate it. And uh, you've got a sweet spirit and a sweet testimony, and uh, we love the Lord, and I, I oh, think that's great. I love great. him with all my heart. Uh, I we'll see you next time. Thank you.